Diascu and his dominance cannot be argued this season on the APP Tour, especially in men's doubles. He and that man right there, Pesatione, have already won two gold medals together, one in Mesa, one in Sacramento. Diascu has also won four other gold medals in men's doubles, too, with two different partners each. So Tioni and Diascu with a chance here to win their third gold medal in as many tournaments played together in men's doubles. And that man, just so dominant. You guys, when you watch Diascu play, there's so many parts of his game that we can analyze about what makes him great. But what is it going to take for Diascu and Tioni today in the men's winner's bracket final? to take down two very hungry, very young, next-gen APP players. We've said it the two times they've teamed up before, Tioni's the X Factor. If Pesa can play well, keep the ball in play, do his job, Deascu's gonna do what he does, and that's take over and finish. And so far, so good for Tioni, as he's playing really well today. He hit a little bit of a funk in that last match we had them on, um, but figured it out, and they are sitting here now pretty in the winner bracket final. And they are taking on Spencer Lanier and Richard Lievernice Jr. These two do not have the experience that Diascu and Tioni have. Richard telling me before the match that they've played a whopping one and a half practice games together before <laughs> today. But whatever they did, it is working because here they are in the men's doubles winner's bracket final and first point. So I, he gets away with it. Right there, okay? <laughs> he and tests, he's testing early, but I don't know if I test that same spot. No, no, no. He's he's going to dial that in, is Dasku. And... Ooh, I mean, I like the guts of the youngster. I mean, you're playing with house money right now. You're technically on paper not supposed to be in this match. And, hey, we're going to come out aggressive. They got a 3-0 lead. Let's keep it going. Lanier with the serve. That's it. Uh, speed up there from Lievernice right at Tioni. I mean, one thing Lievernice and Lanier are doing well is with their speed ups, it's a one-two combination, right? They're, they're speeding up. They're expecting the next one and attacking again. Tiescu coming all the way over to get that one, and it turns out to be the thing that breaks the streak here early on, gets the ball on the side of Tioni and Tiescu for the first time in this match. Tioni with the serve. Pesa can't get any love off the tape. So Pesationi and Diascu on to their second serve, 0 4 2. Dialed in a little more is Dasku right there. Just misses that forehand inside out. Does leave our knees. I like it, though. 
Again, playing with a ton of confidence right now. Yeah, tough spot to speed up from there, but you know, you talk about playing with the confidence. Which did you prefer to play as? This is the underdog or the favorite? Underdog all day long. Yeah, because there's exactly. no pressure. You None. you let it fly and say, hey, you know what? I had a good run. Speed up there from Diascu, but Lanier ready for it. Oh, no. Yeah, short and quick right here. Sits on the backhand side. Just a nice counterattack punch. Doesn't try to do too much with it. Gets on top and extends through. He never even cocked his paddle back. He just punched straight forward. Beautiful job by Lanier. Ooh, nice. Again, it's house money right now. Yeah. That's a gutsy pull down the line right there, but it works. I will say that he was really close to crossing the plane of the net when he came charging forward for the fake Ernie. Oh, change his mind. Look like you want to flip back at Tioni again, but change his mind goes inside out. It's going to be Richard Levernice Jr., 21 years old, out of Hoboken, New Jersey, with the serve. Uh, the ball's just deep. A little too flat on that one. He lays the paddle back, but he's hitting up on it. He's not brushing it. Diescu with the serve, 5-3-1. And then Lanier does the opposite there, closes off a little too much. Diescu wants that one back. <laughs> the big grunt from Diescu. Can't believe it didn't go over. Nice deep return. Teoni trying to hit that drop off the back foot. Mm. Some love off the tape from Teoni. Yeah, added some extra backspin there after it caught the net cord. Quickly putting Levernice and... Lanier on their second serve. The Ernie there from Pesa Tioni, well placed. Nice spot right there, good time for it from Tioni. And he waits till the last second too, so nothing Levernese could do right there. Speed up there from Le Levernese just sails a bit long. It's there, uh, 100%. He goes about six, eight inches long. 5-5-1 five, five, one. Five, five, one for Tioni. Yeah, good ball movement, good control there from Diascu and Tioni. Livinis just tried to rush that last ball, and it took it on a half volley. Gives Tioni and Diascu their first lead here in game one.
Oh, so good there from Lanier. He just comes back. Oh, going, yes. Hold, freeze, pull. All wrist. Beautifully done. Six five two for Diascu. Mm, Diascu kicked it into gear that Livanese never looked up after that ball was below the net. He's hard to miss too. <laughs> Coming up that fast. Good angle there from Livernese. Again, we talked earlier today when we first got on air. Placement over power. That's a good spot there from Livernese. Five seven one for Livernese. Good spot there from Diascu. Good pressure as Livernese was trying to come through the transition area. Diescu and those overheads are only going to be defendable for so long. His massive frame able to get on top of it and put so much power behind it. I just, I still would like to see Diescu because he's so big and he's up at the kitchen line to hit an angle because he's got that reach and can create instead of giving his opponents an opportunity to get those back. Diescu, the son of a former Romanian National League basketball player. He and his, his dad is. So Diascu saying he probably gets a bit of his height from his dad. Ooh, the speed up right into the body of Lanier. Two things. One, you see Lanier and Lieverney switch sides, right? So it's like, okay, your turn to go at him here. As Lieverney says, I tried my time. Now you go at him, Spencer. And two, I'm very interested to, to, to talk with them and see they're targeting to ask you. They're trying to go to him more. And it's not that they're going middle a lot. They're trying to go to his backhand side more than they are to Tioni which kind of surprises me a little bit because the last thing you want to do is heat up Andre Deascu here as they have right now because they did jump out, did Lanier and Livernese to an early lead. Yeah, I mean, like we said at the beginning, they tested Deascu and they tested his hands. They got success there, but then once they kept on going to it, right? if you see enough fastballs, you're going to connect and... Diaska's hands are fast enough that you might beat him maybe twice max and then he's made his adjustment. You see that reflected in the score here in game one. Diaska and Tioni have built themselves up a 9-5 lead. Trailed 4-1 to Lievernice and Lanier earlier in this game. Lieberniece speeding it up at Tioni twice, twice. Tioni ready for it. Make it three. <laughs> Two time it was Tioni who took the offensive. <laughs> Tioni's three resets, he didn't move. He stood there so calm and just was like, yeah, go ahead, try again. 
Come ahead, try again. <laughs> Almost baiting him. Yes. So nice. Sets up game point opportunity here. <laughs> so Husky rushed that one just a little bit. Got a little excited. Feet never stopped right there. Just ran straight through it. Another shot at game point, though, on the paddle of Pesationi. And that will do it. Diescu and Tioni take game one here in our men's doubles winner's bracket final. Lanier and Lee Bernice have surprised many people on their run here today. Can they do it here at Championship Court? We will find out. Game two coming up next. We save time when we buy and book online at DiscountTire.com. Which means more time Wait, for... check. Kyle, it's Pickleball. Every time. Zero, zero, two. Get 30% shorter average wait time when you buy and book online at DiscountTire.com. The APP is presented by... Consumer Cellular. Powerplate. Franklin. And Turbis. Game two here of the men's doubles winner's bracket final. Tioni getting us started with the serve. A little different game plan to start there as Lanier going hard to Tioni cross-court. Many have tested Diescu. Few have succeeded. Well-defended ATP from Tioni. Yeah, good attack, good flicks there from Levenese. Lee Bernice going for the speed up, but into the net. I do love the change of pace, what he does on his dinks, too. He goes one-handed, two-hand. He mixes in a roll, a cut. He's changing it up constantly, does Lee Bernice. Lee Bernice played college lacrosse. So, Chad, like you mentioned, you've gotten a chance to work with him a time or two, and so much of that strength and his dinks and able to pressure comes from the strength that he's built up through playing lacrosse. Yeah, the, the wrist strength, forearm strength, the, the issue is is that getting used to the, the, the change of face and, and the face positioning of the paddle, sometimes it flattens out a little too much. Sometimes it closes off.
The ball's right on the line right there. Love that spot there from Levernese as he gets pulled hard to the sideline. And he just rolls that back to the middle instead of trying to really pull that across his body. Spencer Lanier with the serve into the net. A little lapse in concentration right there. So it's going to be Richard Levernese with a chance to put him and his partner on the board for the first time in this match, or in this game, excuse me. That's good leave there from Deask, who is ball really low. It's a tough speed up for Lee Vernies. Unless he goes body, that's tough. Yeah, it's the only option right there on that one is go body. Too hard to roll. Oh, and... Tyesco goes body. Speaking of, <laughs> he's like, hey, I see what you're doing there. Watch. Here, I'll show you. I'll sh I'll Let show me show you. you how to do it. I'll yeah. show you, youngster. Here you go. <laughs> Take notes. Just as they work their way back up beautifully. Sioni with one he wants back. So it'll be Dayescu serving, 3 0 2. Vernice doing a good job taking advantage of both Tioni and Diascu being off balance there. Yeah, good counter attack there off of the Diascu speed up for Livernese. Lot of ball movement in this dinking rally. Strong angle taken there by Lieberniece to end it. A good little frack here as he goes. Little frying pan sideline. ball might have gone out. I don't know. It had a lot of top on it and really wasn't hit that hard. Just long right there off the paddle of Deescu. We're all tied here at three in game two. One of the things that impressed me in the semifinals that we saw with Lanier and Lee Bernice is even though they are young, they did show a lot of maturity in the way they constructed their points and didn't get rattled oh, yeah, even I was when say, they got it's, down. It's, it's the composure side of it yeah. as well. 
And we're seeing that here. They've worked their way back against a team that has won two gold medals here on the APP Tour. Worked their way back into a tie game. Little in between there from Lieberniz is if you wanted to drive that or drop that. Lee Bernice goes for the lob. It lands inbounds. Tioni with a good response. Oh, and, and it's the net court that ends it all. In the, in the middle of all that, I'm sitting here going, who's going to be the first to lob? Because, again, they're so dug in. Yeah. Like, all four players are on their toes leaning in. And it was Lieberniz who hits the perfect lob. There was no way Tioni was getting that, and he did get it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Teone gets away with one there, too, because he had another out ball. That one right there. 5-3-1, Diescu with the serve. A little change of pace there from Levinese. Didn't give Teone anything to pick that one and put it back over the net. Another good spot there as well. Going left hip. Jams up Tioni. Three, five, one, the serve from Lee Bernice. Oh, tough. Ambitious. Yeah, just. Hit it a little flat. Didn't give it. Didn't give it any shape. You know, get around the outside of it. Kind of shape it around. We'll get a good angle. I think here. it was there. Yeah, it was there. But he hit it too too high. Yeah. It was, he didn't let it drop it a little further. As soon as it came off his paddle, Lanier and Lieberniz started backing up because they knew Diascu was going to take advantage. Well, it also, it slid into Lanier right here as well. Almost picked up a little bit of speed once it hit the court. Oh, a little love back. Puts Diascu and Tioni on their second serve, 5-3-2. That was a strong flick there from Lanier right at the feet of Diescu. There's not many spots on Diescu that you can hit it and he won't be able to return it, but feet is a very is, is a good bet. It's usually a good start. It's a good start. Lubinese push that serve wide. Tough to, 
to challenge the big man when especially when he's initiating too. So quick side out here. Five three one for Diascu serve. Got jammed up just a little bit there. As usually he's out front blocking that. He got jammed up at his body. 5-3-2 for Tioni. After so many patient points, that one all power from both teams. Yeah, Tony just missing that one wide, kind of just the spin took that one out. Back to back, Lee Vernice tries to speed it up at Diescu, and Diescu paints the sideline. As soon as he hit it, he yeah, goes, baby. yeah, baby. <laughs> Does Diescu before it even lands. Hey, when you know, you know. Oh, no, and Deascu catches Lieberniz pinching back to the middle, and then he just goes at where he was and gets him in the left hip, literally. And so the stalemate continues here at Championship Court. We have been sitting at 5-3, Deascu and Tioni with the lead for quite some time. Both teams doing a really good job of being patient, picking their spots. It's led to some side outs before anybody can get points up. And there you go. Just like that, Diascu and Tioni with a point to extend their lead. Yeah, we've been stuck on 5-3 for a while. 6-3-1, so Diasco and Tioni still on their first serve. Good spot there from Lanier. And again, you have Lievernese and Lanier switching sides. Putting Lanier on the left and Lievernese on the right. Lanier keeping his toes on that kitchen line, getting those out of the air to keep Tioni and Diascu back, but Lievernese pushing that a bit long. And that's something we haven't seen too much out of Tioni so far today is his drive. His drive is very good. And now there's two in a row that have caused two mistakes. So again, saving it for the right time.
the mm. speed up there from Diascu, but Levernice ready for it. Yeah, good counterattack by Levernice right there. Ball floated a little bit. He was sitting on that backhand side, anticipating the attack after that ball floated. 3-8-1, the serve for Levernice. Tries for a little too much there. Oh, just running through that yeah. instead of keeping your feet set. Hit and run only works in baseball, and the only reason it works is because it's two people doing two things. <laughs> Can't do it at the same time here. What about a running bunt? I was good at that. I was very good at that. Getting away here from Lanier and Lever Knee, so 9 3. And just as you said that, they're yeah. on their second serve. But like you mentioned, we were sitting at 5 3, Diasco and Tioni, with that two point lead for quite some time. And then pretty quickly, they've rattled off these last four points. Good patience, good control there from Lanier and, Le and Levenice. Wait, there's so much m respect for hands right now. It's there. Yeah. That's why we're getting these elongated dink rallies. Well, that wasn't a <laughs> long one. <laughs> We've had quite a few of them, though. <laughs> but good hands there from Levenice. Taking full opportunity of that floating ball. Ends a 6-0 run that Diascu and Tioni had put together. Nice. So ball called out from Tioni, but overruled by our referee. And it'll be a point to Lanier and Levernese. They ask you taking it out on Lever Knees. <laughs> <laughs> Puts them on their second serve. Nice Ooh. counter there from Lever Knees, and then Lanier yeah. able to put that ball away in the middle. So a game of runs as Lanier and Lever Knees now rattling off three in a row. Yeah, and he, he telegraphed it so much as he put his second hand on, and Tioni took a step back and just countered it. Yeah, I mean, that's maybe the third time that Linny is putting the second hand on the backhand right there. And all three times he sped up. Yep. Oh, wow. Now, I know you just lost that hands battle the point before, right, with with Lanier on the left, but you had just scored three straight points. Why would you switch it at that point, Is it, in my opinion? I would have stuck with it. Instead, it is a match point opportunity for Diascu and Tioni. And that will do it. Levernese sends that ball wide, and Diescu and Tioni are back in the gold medal match, looking to win their third gold medal together in this APP season. We will hear from the winners when we come back.
Now we take another look here at match point for Andre Deescu and Pesationi. A lot of long extended points in this one, but Livanese going for just a little too much there on the backhand flick. And we've got Dominic Catalano down courtside with Andre and Pesa moving on to Championship Sunday. Oh, Andre Pesa, first and foremost, congratulations. Moving on to another Championship Sunday. Now, Andre, first I'm going to start with you. Kind of a little off question. Seven, eight years ago when you first started playing pickleball, playing against these young kids now, you know, we met at Riverbend all the way back then, one of your first tournaments. Long time ago. Long time ago. What's it mean to you to be the veteran playing against and see these up-and-comers, these young guys right now? Uh, it means a lot to me. It means I'm still consistent. My level is still there. Um, and I'm enjoying, you know, there's new blood. These guys are playing great. They're making a great run today. They're very good players, lots of talent. So uh, happy to, to be playing alongside Pesa. We played a great match together. Uh, these youngsters took it to us, but we were able to respond pretty well. And uh, he just goes to show, hey, just just a number. <laughs> <laughs> and Pesa, we talked about it in the, in the broadcast that you saved those drives till the end. We saw that the last time we saw you. What made you save it till then? Because they were very accurate and very productive. I mean, I feel like it was the only time I actually get a ball in the middle because uh, Andres such <laughs> make every single drop. So I got to back out. So it was the only times I, I got the ball and I just ripped it. He's the one who closed it. He's the one who closed it for sure. Those drives are great. It's definitely a little cooler than when we started. Mm -hmm. So those drives are super efficient. And uh, no, he went for it at the end. And he's the one who got us uh, over the finish line for sure. So, All right. Well, congratulations, boys. They are moving on to Championship Sunday tomorrow. So you'll see them for a gold medal match.